Uh. And look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Oh. Hey, what's up everyone, and we're back for take two of this video, so hopefully there's no issues, but um, we're going to be looking at, as you already may have got to guess, uh, the KPZ50T, if you caught the miscue this morning, but uh, we have two games for you today, uh, this one was actually, maybe this first one was a possibility of making a cut for the review, uh, I decided against it, but I kept it around, and yeah, we're going to be on several goals, second game is better if we're going to save best for last. Uh, but this first game we're playing solo. Uh, this is still, I think, maybe the first or second day I played the tank. Uh, Sever Gorse is not the best medium tank map I think I've been over this. Uh, with light tank games or something like that. It's pretty much corridors. But we're top tier, so we can play a little bit more aggressive than we normally would if we were bottom, well, bottom tier. Uh, for tier 10s. Uh, mainly because in this game we're fighting tier 7s and 8s. And we can just make use of our, uh pretty good armor that the KPC has uh, if we go haul down. Normally I would actually push left here uh, solo, defending, probably 8 times out of 10. But since we're top tier and I also saw a few of our tanks pushing this way, uh, I thought what the hell, why not, let's push this side and see what happens. Uh, just taking a little bit of risk, mixing it up a little bit maybe, and see if we can't make the game a little more interesting uh, for ourselves rather than just fighting head-to-head uh, -head like that, and we're going to be pretty aggressive here, actually. Uh, so it's a bit of a gamble, this first play, but it's going to pay off. Uh, for this this game, that's not always the case. Playing aggressive can have its downfalls, uh, I'm well aware of. Uh, being kind of cautious here, I'm hugging this dip just in case anything is uh, quick enough to get down here and spot me, so I can dip down near the water and not get shot, hopefully, or make it as low profile as I can. And you see we're already spotting uh, a couple of their tier 7s, which is boding well for us. Uh, especially their slower tier 7s, so hopefully that means their tier 9s have gone to the other flank to mess them out. And right now, all we have to do is pick on a Leo, T29, and Tiger P, which shouldn't be too much of an issue uh, if we just use this armor. IS-3 is there as well, he bounces off of us no problem at also. Uh, I really am enjoying this tank, I'm not going to lie. It's been a blast to play. I need to play it a little bit more. Uh, I just picked up two marks on it the other day. Actually, the second game is my second mark game, but we'll get to that. Uh, but right here, we're just in a perfect position. Atrix is in a gun depression isn't the most for some positions, but for this slightly uh, inclined hill like here, it's perfect. Uh, here, we're a little bit different. Uh, unfortunately, he has the guns. So I'm going to have to use my repair kit. I don't like having damage going in any tank. It's not necessarily always uh, the best play. Leo thinks he has turret armor, so we're going to just show him that he does not. And T29 feels confident for some reason. Um, and I'm going to show him that I know where his weak spot is. Hello. Uh, put one into there. And we're just taking our time letting them make the mistakes here. I'm not trying to push the advantage too much. Uh, I know I'm top tier. I could bully these guys a little bit more. But why waste uh, unnecessary HP, basically? Uh, here I get a little uh, focus on ahead of me, and Leo is literally right next to me. And for some reason, I'm just like tunnel vision to hell on the T29. Doesn't matter, Leo bounces, so he's whatever. T29 decides he's had enough of bouncing off us and then decides to shoot the dirt, which is fine by me. Uh, and hopefully, we're gonna finish him off, but uh, Soviet Russia does that for us, so we're gonna go over and say hello to the Tiger P on 5 HP, snap it into him, and secure the kill for our first of the game. Uh, so a fairly easy engagement so far, I mean honestly, that's pretty much minus two matchmaking at its best for us. Uh, those guys really never stood a chance as long as I played that, pretty much like I did right there. And that's kind of the way you play against tier 7s, don't give them the opportunity to have the weak spots. And uh, just play your tank to its utmost advantage at that point and you're going to just dominate them. Uh, it's not even fair. They had basically no shot there. <laughs> so. They're pushing into their base. They're kind of winning the other flank at this point. Uh, and they have a few more uh, dangerous tanks here in their base. E50s here. Uh, it's three falling back. And there's also a Conqueror there as well. Um, we notice here that the E50 is stocked, which is something I always like to pay attention to is HP totals, know which gun they have. 
as we put our another shot into the E50, giving him tracked as well. Uh, and he looks like he has this small gun, and I don't mean just the 8.8, .8, I mean like the Panther gun. So he's not going to be too much of a threat. I'd rather focus on the Conqueror here if I get the chance. I'm kind of scraping ish in the KPZ, which isn't always the best. Uh, it only has like 40 millimeters of side armor. But we're able to eat the track shot, uh, eat the shot with our tracks, I should say, from the Conqueror. And he's just given up, and we're going to finish him off as well. And then they have two tier 8 mediums who have no awareness, and they're just like, we have to kill the light tank. And they do. Congratulations, I know what that life is all about. Uh, sorry, Bulldog. And here I noticed the E50 is trying to be sneaky and get behind us. Uh, we're not going to have that. And we're going to greet him with a nice uh, shot, hopefully, when he pokes down this corner. And yep, there he is, right on cue. And he actually is going to pen us once, but that's right, that shot right there is like 100 and whatever health. So yeah, he's definitely got the Panther gun, which is so sad. And so far we're up to 3 kills and 3900 damage, which is really good. Uh, so far, this kind of matchmaking we should be doing well. Uh, and now we're going to put the weight of the KPC to use. A little bit weighs 50 tons so the Lorraine makes a crucial error and yeah we're just gonna ramp him and kill him here are again tunnel vision a little bit there is a centurion 7-1 behind us uh, I'm basically just thinking this game's in the bag and getting a little careless here I knew he was there I just didn't care uh, and we just throw away some HP for no reason he has our fuel tanks too I believe uh, so that could have been bad and he's still on full health, so I don't want to really push the advantage here, uh, especially when he's making mistakes like that. Again, we're going to use the advantage of our tank. Uh, not the greatest DPM here. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, aim for the second one, and that one ricochets at the top of it. Unfortunate for us, but he's going to keep poking and poking and poking, and then the third time is the charm as we put it in for damage and track him. But again, unfortunate for us, it looks like he has a good repair uh, crew. As his tracks are still aren't, so he didn't use a repair kit there. Uh, but the KPZ does lack in DPM a little bit, which is unfortunate. But everything else about the tank is fantastic, I think. So I'm not always like, we need all the DPM. This is fine. It's still more than serviceable, I believe. But again, we're going to poke up, pull back a little bit. He's going to bounce off our turret. It's a little bit steeper of an incline here. I'm still trying to make the most use out of it. And here we go, put some more in. T-54 is just going in at this point, so his attention is turned, so I don't really have to play as cautious here. And we'll put another one through his lower plate. And our T-54 should be able to finish him off as well. And all we have now left is their KPZ on their team. He's had a pretty good game himself, I believe. Uh, but yeah, as you can see in the damage right off in the top right, we're up to 3,600 blocked, which is kind of insane for a medium. Uh, not insane, but it's pretty damn good. I love this thing. It's mobile. The gun is good. A little slow in DPM, like I said. But it's accurate, and most of the time it hits and pens just because of the uh, gun stats on it. So I will happily take that versus some tanks that, yeah, they have the DPM, but they don't always hit. Uh, cough, cough, the D95-V6. Uh, that, yeah, has great DPM. My god, the gun handling is trash. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we damn wreck him. I know I'm going to reload him out reload him any day of the week and we finish him off for our fifth kill of that game and that was just an absolute bully of a game uh pretty much just going around destroying people's hope dreams and yeah uh, yeah it's just bullying people basically there as you block 3900 damage pull out just shy of 5800 five kills 1900 base and get the steel wall and a medium tank uh just a really like I said, this tank I can't recommend enough. It's probably the best, probably the best tank out of the Valor Ops. SU-130 is really, really good as well. Uh, but yeah, both those tanks are the ones I would, that are worth it. t 5 e 6 is still this anime. I haven't played it nearly that much since I'm done doing the uh, gameplays for the review. I maybe touched it twice. That gives you an, an indication of how much I really want to play it. Uh, so, moving on to the second game, hopefully. Uh, we will be on Berlin, which again is not the best medium tank map at all. But again, we're going to be top tier, so we can make it work a little bit. Again, the armor this thing is going to help. Plus, this time we're bringing along uh, Sir Swindle in the Type 61 for a little platoon action. Judging by the video title, uh, you probably guessed that because I didn't get a crucial contribution by myself. Spoiler alert. 
Uh, nearly did, yeah, but we'll get there. Uh, <laughs> so, Berlin, we're obviously, at least obviously, in my mind, we're going to take the field. Uh, we're mediums. Even with uh, two arties, they're going to be focusing us probably out there. That's at least mindset, I would think. Um, but something to look at this gameplay, even matchup, looking at it initially before we even get into the actual fighting here. It's looking at their team matchup, and they have three platoon light tanks. And generally, when I see that, uh, my hopes are not very high that they're going to be super tactical. Uh, my mindset is, yeah, they're going to YOLO. Uh, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Uh, I feel like most of the time on console, it's usually just you see a pack of light tanks and they just go bonkers. Like, we've got to go fast. Like, freaking. Like, yeah. It, and it's exactly what's going to happen here. So we're just going to have to maintain our cool uh, and just keep our head maintain or cool head it in this situation because they're coming you can see them they're right now uh two hauling hounds and a falcon t92 so we're gonna peek over their focus on the other scout put one into the falcon kind of a low roll there for 50 um and we're just keeping cool headed here uh not freaking out too too much again i'm just focusing on one tank at a time uh put one into the falcon again another low roll but again we're just trying to keep it easy not freaking out, not going like, oh, we'll start to hit. We're going to back up into this guy because he's not looking where he's driving. Take him out without even firing a shot at him. Well, to kill him, I guess. Put another one into that hall and hound. And hopefully he gets taken out. There we go. And that's how you solve the three-man YOLO rush by the light tanks. One of our lights died, but yeah, it's probably going to happen if you're the... It's just the way it works sometimes, unfortunately. And now there's Centurion behind us who's decided he wants to play that role too. And it's going to be really well for him as well. Again, another stock tank, so I'm not too worried about him pending if I'm going to go haul down. Uh, and he's really distracted by our lights uh, around him. So we're just going to be able to shoot him up. A little bit worried about already here. Uh... We're sat in a field, we're behind a hill, but that's really not, not really much of a hill, so we're pretty much in the kill zone for artillery at this point. But there's nothing much I can do about it. Uh, if I want to try to win this game, we just got to take the gamble that it misses uh, if it does shoot. And we're going to finish him off for a second kill this game. Uh, so that's two so far. And now we're going to be able to push the advantage ourselves a little bit here. Uh, and hopefully with the support of our Artie, who's still behind us, and... Anybody else that's with us, but me and Swindler are still pretty healthy, I think. I think I'm only took damage from him ramming me. And I don't know if Swindler's still held or not, but we're gonna push the advantage here. Their M103 just got hit by already. Uh, a UDES is really no match for us. Uh, at this point, I'm still we're still playing a little passively at this stage, and I think it's around here where I say screw this. There's only two of them. Their M103 is kind of bugging off as UDES bounces, and that's kind of our signal right there. Uh, that we're just going to push this guy with our advantage uh, numerically and we're in tier 9s so we're just going to go in and mop this guy up real quick and then move on to greener pastures for us damage wise so we put one into him and again use our weight a little bit to just give him a nice little love tap to send him back to the garage so good engagement kept our head cool uh, not freaking out by there's a million little uh, scouts roaming around us it looks like they're already actually probably uh, buzzed off at this point this one was actually taking a bit of a beating from their lights, so I forgot about that. And that's why I'm going to go forward. First, one, I have the armor, and two, I have the hit points, so I can either bounce a shot or eat a shot. Um, versus him taking another shot and making him a one hit. So I just get up the M103 his face. Hopefully, if he does shoot me, he bounces off my turret. But this one was able to uh, put that shot right between me and the wall and finish off the M103 for his second kill of the game. So we're already up to five kills to the platoon, which is nice. But this game is still neck and neck, 7-7. Seven to seven. And we're going to try to support this other uh, flank as best we can through the lag. Uh, <laughs> see how that goes. And we were able to put a shot in E75 to finish him off for our fourth kill. And now we're going to start moving in here. I want to start closing the distance and get into a better position for my tank. Uh, so Windows probably going to stay back a little bit. Uh, just because uh, he has no armor and really speak over the Type 61. I have armor. I may eat a shot here if I'm not careful. Uh, as the Artie's going in for the shotgun, we don't quite get enough high roll there, which is okay. Uh, the VZ does put one into us again. Our sidearm's not great, but on our return shot, we track him and damage his ammo rack. 
Uh, so maybe either we can pop it or just keep him tracked in place, and he's stocked as well, so his repair speed's not going to be great. And now they're in this position in the middle, which is great, uh, because there's two small hills here in the middle of Berlin that aren't useful most of the time, uh, especially in like beating a games, because you're pretty much exposed on three sides. Uh, but in this kind of late game uh, scenario, it's good to know this kind of position exists, because we can use it to our advantage like that, where he stood no chance of betting us, basically, uh, at that kind of stage, especially with him being in stock. So, nice for us, as long as we keep the armor pointed towards him, and not angle like it was sideways, where he penned our weak uh, 40 mm side armor. Uh, it's a really strong position there, and we were able to finish him off. But I want to rush in here too quick, because I know the RD is right there, obviously. But, we have a freedom, he's distracting the other Conqueror, and hopefully we can come in and swipe this kill for our top gun, and we sure do. I don't load HE here because I can't even kill him with HE in one shot and I just end up bouncing or not penning anyway so I'm just going to leave APCR in. He just fired a few seconds ago so I'm not crazy, I'm not just going in on the uh, give me a tiger. Our shot barely gets, our ram gets there slightly before the freedom can take him out so we get our 7th kill on a devastator. But just kind of keeping aware, we actually did see the shot go at that point. Uh, and now all we have to do is hunt down this last remaining heavy, which I believe is the Polish tier 9, the 50 TP, something like that. And I have an idea based on where Artie is running, that he is out in the field chasing them down as fast as he can, chasing. Uh, see how that well that goes for him. I don't know how much HP is on at this point, but I'm pretty confident that even if I take a hit, I can outmaneuver him or track him in some way or shape or form. That thing's not exactly the best tier 9 heavy tank in the game at all. And I'm pretty confident, especially if he's in the field, that I can easily have maneuver him. So, we're going in fairly confident at this stage. Uh, maybe not the total replay play, because he was on 2,000 HP. Mm, that could be an issue, but he's on 580. The chance of him being on 2,000 is very low. And uh, we're just going to take that chance and reward it with our 8th kill right there. And finish the game up with 6,200 damage. And, uh, yeah, as you see, I got 8 kills, someone got 4. Got to carry him a little bit there. Uh, and yeah, we finished the game for a crucial contribution to man, which is always really nice. Brothers in Arms as well. Uh, this was some of the best type of crucials, honestly. Uh, outside of getting maybe 12 by yourself, which then doesn't count as crucial, I'm pretty sure. But, correct me if I'm wrong, don't think it does because you're not a platoon. As you see, we finished that game with 2,000 base XP. A hell of a game for Berlin and a medium tank. Again, just absolutely loving this thing quickly becoming one of my favorite tier nines along with like the 46 patent and such uh, and all the scouts obviously but uh yeah just a really fun game hopefully this recording works this time <laughs> i don't want to record this commentary again so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to seeing you out there and uh catching on the battlefield too that was cheesy as hell peace <laughs>